Okay. All right, so what we have here is two um, hydraulic lifters. These are just your basic uh, stock factory lifters, which are good actually for a lot of high performance applications. But in order to check uh, push rod length, one thing that we have to do is we've got to take this hydraulic play out of these lifters. So being that these are hydraulic, they fill up with oil and they pump up. And then as the motor goes to a cycle, as you can see in here, the plunger depresses. And if that plunger depresses while we're checking our push rod length, so the push rod sits in there, as that plunger depresses, it takes away a certain amount of distance that you would need to have the accurate push rod length. So in order to check your push rod length correctly, you can't have this play and you need to convert this into a solid lifter. So what we're gonna do today is convert this into a solid lifter. I'm actually just gonna disassemble it so you can see how to do it and then um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So it's pretty easy. You just have to pop off this little clip and you can use any tool you want comes right out like that. Once the clip's out, you can go ahead and pull this little cap top part of the plunger off. With that comes this little disc that helps to kind of seat it. And then inside of here is the actual body. And there's a tiny little oil hole that you can just hook with your pick and pull out. And there comes the body of the lifter. Now, as you can see on the bottom here, there's a spring connected to it, and then that sits in the lifter body. So looking at the order of operations here, you've got lifter body, you've got the spring, you've got this plunger with a nipple that seats over the spring and sits in there. Then you've got this little solid cap just fits right in there, like so. And then you've got this guy that fits over the top and then your little clip that holds it all in place. So essentially what you could do is you could get a stack of washers and stack them up in there to remove any play and then essentially reassemble your components or some people just reassemble the components upside down in a way to lock it. Let's see how that would work, something like that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that because that would make that sit proud and it doesn't look like it would sit correctly. So anyway, so what I would do is just stack washers in there, drop this in, put this in so it's completely flush with it and put your clip on so that there's no hydraulic movement. And then you've got a solid washer. So all I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna go ahead and TIG weld just that edge and this edge, and that'll prevent this from going in and out. And so it's just really simple. I'm just gonna quickly drop a TIG weld there, a TIG weld here, and I'll convert this into being a solid lifter. So then I can use it to check push rod length without any issues.